AutoSA stands for Automotive Open System Architecture. AutoSA, an overview. Organization. Working groups. The working groups are led by the project leader team and are structured into three categories. Cross-standard working groups which are defining standards for both platforms, classic and adaptive. Classic platform working groups, CP. And adaptive platform working groups, AP. Furthermore there are two types of working groups lead working groups, here labeled in gray and regular working groups, labeled in yellow. All activities are assigned to develop and maintain the classic platform, adaptive platform, acceptance test, application interfaces and cross-standard functions. The lead working group architecture is the lead working group which deals with all software architectural design decisions in AutoSAR. The lead working group methodology and templates is responsible for the definition of the overall AutoSAR methodology and all template documents, manifest documents and exchange formats. The lead working group security is responsible for maintaining and improving security features in adaptive and classic platform and ensuring the interoperability between adaptive and classic platform. The lead working group safety is responsible for all requirements for classic and adaptive platform with regards to ISO 26262. This includes cross-standard topics and reviews of safety-related topics in adaptive platform and classic platform. The working group in vehicle communication deals with all aspects of communication between applications both for adaptive and classic platform. This includes the communication protocols defined in the foundation. The working group application interfaces is responsible for standardization of interfaces between different application domains, which need to be identified and maintained, in order to assure compatibility of ECUs, like powertrain and transmission management systems from different vendors. The working group Vehicle 2X works on the rollout of Vehicle 2X to adaptive platform including specification and demonstrator implementation. The working group Diagnostics deals with all diagnostic requirements in AutoSAR. The working group Resources enables the visualizing, analyzing, debugging, optimizing, supervising and testing of automotive embedded systems. This is realized by defining of specific interfaces and specific methodology. The working group, update, and configuration management, is an enabler for updates over the air, considering the vehicle infrastructure. This includes a master subordinate mechanism inside a vehicle EE architecture to be able to update classic and adaptive platform instances as well as defining a platform agnostic solution for the software package itself. The working group, classic platform runtime environment, is responsible for the definition of the runtime environment, the virtual function bus, the debugging and diagnostics log and trace modules. The working group, classic platform multi-core basic software distribution, is responsible for the platform-wide definition of multi-core and multi-partition specific features. Motivation is to enable the users to make full and efficient use of all the microcontroller cores. The working group, Classic Platform Libraries, is responsible for the definition of all AutoSAR library functions which includes fixed point and floating point math functions. The working group, Classic Platform Microcontroller Abstraction Layer, is responsible for software modules and new features with focus on microcontroller abstraction layer and hardware near software modules. The working group, Adaptive Platform Execution Management and Operating System Interface, is responsible for the elements of the AutoSAR Adaptive Platform related to adaptive application execution. The working group, 
Adaptive Platform Demonstrator Integration, is responsible for delivering the Autosar Adaptive Platform Demonstrator, such that specifications can be validated, by a requirement owners being part of other working groups. Validation has the objective to approve and improve the quality of the requirements and or implementation of features provided by working groups. The Working Group Adaptive Platform System Test is responsible for the definition and executions of system tests for the Autosar Adaptive Platform. System tests should be based on system test specifications derived from the requirement specification and should cover all of the testable RS requirements. Additionally, the working group is responsible for implementing applications used for system tests and demonstrations of the capabilities of the Autosar Adaptive Platform. The working group, Adaptive Platform Persistency, is responsible for the elements of the Autosar Adaptive Platform related to data storage. The working group, Adaptive Platform Central Coding Team, is responsible for the implementation of the Adaptive Platform Demonstrator and for the user guide, in Autosar Wiki. The working group, Adaptive Platform Cloud, is responsible for the vehicle to cloud communication. If you want to learn more about Autosar and other interesting topics, go to embeddedacademy.com.